Hey, 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 med school made easy. This video is going to cover the, excuse me, the laboratory risk indicator for necrotizing soft tissue infections, classically for neck, necrotizing fasciitis. This is um, the uh, much talked about, much tested on, uh, kind of smaller clinical utility type scoring system. We'll go over the six parts, we'll go over their scores and, and what that means. Uh, it's a 15 point scale. If you get higher than six points on the scale, so I'll just write greater than six, uh, like so, i.e. seven and above, uh, is associated with higher risk of amputation and death. Um, that being said, necrotizing soft tissue infections are a diagnosis, um, you know, a clinical diagnosis. You shouldn't wait or sit on these. You shouldn't wait for you know, the last lab result to come back before you make your decision to go to the OR. This is more just for scoring sake um, and to kind of communicate uh, how sick someone is, etc. cetera. Um, Necrotizing and soft tissue infections are a surgical disease, so if you have an index of suspicion, they need to go to the OR or at least have some sort of um, bedside um, you know, debridement or cut to see if they do have a necrotizing component. So without further ado, the six components to this um, are CRP, white blood cells, hemoglobin, creatinine, <clears throat> um, sodium, and then glucose, okay? Uh, I put CRP first because it is by far the most important for the scoring system. Um, the number there is 15. Uh, if you have greater than 15 milligrams per deciliter, it's four points. Okay. Um, if it's less than 15, it's zero points. So CRP is your most important part of uh, the Lernex score. Uh, next, we have white blood cells. Um, if you, you know, you can have a leukocytosis, but they usually say less than 15, 15 to 25, and then greater than 25. None of the rest of these will be worth four points. So I'm just going to cross those out. You'll see they're all either zero, one, or two. Um, hemoglobin. So if they're anemic, they're sicker, right? Uh, less than 11. Um, this is 11 to 13.5. And this is, you know, someone that is not anemic. So greater than 13.5. Um, <clears throat> Let's see, sodium is either they got it or they don't, uh, and that's uh, greater than 135, or hyponatremia is less than 135. Sorry, I went out of order, I forgot creatinine. Uh, creatinine is a similar deal. It's um, uh, either they got it or they don't, and that has to do with um, if it's greater than 1.6 or less than 1.6. Uh, and then lastly, glucose, this is just a, a plus one uh, type deal, and it's, it's 180, so less than 180. Glucose is zero points and greater than 180. You know, we start to get those neutrophils. They don't, they're dysfunctional after 180, they say, and um, they won't work as well to fight infection. So you have a glucose greater than 180, uh, you have a sicker patient. Uh, a lot of these things are pretty intuitive. If you're hyponatremic and anemic and you have a white count of 40, uh, that's a sick patient, right? Uh, but again, the most important thing in this 15 point scale is CRP um, because that's worth four points. Uh, so that's the Lernex score. Um, again, necrotizing soft tissue infections are a clinical diagnosis. Make your decision, go to the OR and excise the dead tissue. Uh, get ahead of the tissue surgically. Um, don't sit on them. All right, all right, thanks.